Hey guys, Jeff Schroeder here. Between Takes at CBS is not just another interview show. We're going offset, away from the studio, to get to know your favorite CBS stars in their environment. It's going to be fun, it's going to be fresh, and anything but typical. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. This is Between Takes at CBS. What's up, everybody? Today I'm in the Pacific Palisades of Los Angeles. Who are we meeting? Well, I'll give you a couple clues. One, he was born in Alaska. Two, he was a vocalist for a boy band called Three Deep. And three, he's been the star of Young and the Restless for nearly two decades. Let's go meet him. How are you, man? How's it going, bro? I'm Jeff. Joshua Morrow. Nice to meet you, nice man. To meet nice you, to man. meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Who, who's everybody here? I don't know. Guys, come on in. Bring it in. Crew, nice to meet you, Jeff. Hi, my name's Cooper. Cooper, nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Cash. Cash, you guys have the coolest names in the Pacific Palisades, or what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're all named to be uh, outfielders or infielders for the Dodgers. For, oh yeah, yes. so that you already have it set up like that, pretty yeah. much. So is this what you do between takes, playing baseball with your kids? Is this the love? Yep. This is pretty much my whole life. This is why I was put on this earth was to be a dad have a bunch of boys that play baseball. So, uh, and coach them to success. Absolutely. One thing, the Dodgers are going to win the World Series. Bang, it's just like that. Let's see some push-ups. Cash, drop and give me five. Oh man, I think we all got, we're a team out here. Yep. We all got to do Everybody's doing them. Ready? One, 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 two, three. Come on. Two. There we go, nice extension, three. Cash. I love that. Three. Charlie, three. let's go. You're not giving me a proper effort. I need you to work a little harder right now. Come on, let's go. There we go. Is this nice. How you, is this how you stayed in shape in, your, in the boy band days? Oh yes, days? in the boy band days. <laughs> the way we stayed in shape there was just drink, pulling beers up. That's all we did, that's all we did. All right, run them out to short, boys. You, I I'm gonna a, grab, I got, a I got a glove. You got a glove? I'm gonna go grab get your a glove. glove. Here we go. Let's see what he's got. I don't know. I'm at short? Yeah, you're at short. My dad's gonna play first. Wave, dad. Go to one, Jeff. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! Oh! Good reach! Roll two, roll two! Nice! Oh! oh. That was my fault! Bad feed on Jeff. <laughs> Let's see it. Better. There we go. Look at that! Oh, All right. man! Alright, our feeling looks pretty good. Come on in. Come on in, guys. So, how did I do out there? Good. I love how you're trying. You, well, that's yeah. it. A for effort. I gotta work on my skills, though. Yeah. You're a, little, you're a little upright if you want some, because everything, everything's up high. Every sport, everything is down low. Here, here, catch it here, we'll stay low, Jeff, okay? Everything's a little yeah. high. Let's All get right. a little lower, okay? All right. That is a bomb. Bang. Nice! Ugh. I made them a deal when they were born, they started playing sports. I said, I will never ever tell you no. If you want to go outside and play a sport, I will always say yes. I mean, that's the things I'm the most proud of, is Joshua. When he's home, when he's off work, he's not running around with the Hollywood types. He's home coaching the boys. It's like their passion, so it's become mine. I like him to coach me all these years because, um, like, it's my dad. It, like. I would, if he wasn't in a year with me coaching, it would just not feel right. When did acting come about for you? I think came out, I was playing basketball at Moore Park College out here, and the coach put all of us in theater because it kind of helped some of the kids who weren't into the classroom stay eligible. Really? Yeah, and uh, I realized that's where all the girls were. I just kind of started doing that, man, and fell into it and got really lucky. I mean, seriously, YNR was my fifth audition. All right, so Joshua, obviously you're a good dad in real life. Thank you, it means you know? a lot to me. I love playing the dad stuff with Nick. Like, like he's had some monogamy issues, but he's always a good dad, you know? We have to have a kid after staying on there for almost two decades. You have to have something happen. 20 years next year, bro. 20 years. How do you attribute the longevity in that? I think it's just a matter of, I got really lucky playing Nick Newman. Uh, the Newman family's pretty, uh, pretty important to the show. The fans have also been very supportive, so it's a dream job, man, especially for me, because all I want to do is play baseball with my sons and be home for dinner, and this job allows me to do that. 
Here we go. Nice. Nice, dude. So over the years, Nick has had a lot of love interests, right? Yeah, Nick's, uh, you know, he's a lot of good things, but he's not the most reliable husband or or uh, boyfriend I've ever seen. Uh, fun character to play, but you know, he's, he's got some work to do in that department. Does it seem like he's always kind of caught up in a love triangle? Because right now it seems like you're caught up in like a love octagon with all these yeah. people in and out. <laughs> Is he eventually gonna settle down at any point? Yeah, I mean, he's he, right now he's engaged. So whether that uh, whether he makes it or not is still up for up for grabs. I mean, he's again his track record's not is that great. great? It's not great. No. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Do not. Did you record that? Cut. <laughs> if that makes it in, I will burn buildings down. Nice. 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 Flip it. Excellent, boys. So Young and the Restless has been on for 40 years. Yes. And. Do you think that's a testament to how diehard the fans are? Um, I do. Our fans are the most loyal people I think I've ever seen in my in my life. They add these characters to their own families. You know, they watch it every day. They're committed to it. You you meet somebody who this show means something to. Right. How can you not be like super fired up about it? Because you can't imagine like the passion that they have for this show until you go out there and meet the people. I've done so many personal appearances. It's like generational. Like. Somebody's mom will show exactly. up and she'll be like, this is my mother and she showed it to me and she's been watching for 40 years and I've been watching for 21 and here's her little daughter in pigtails and she's like, yeah, I've been watching it for four years. It's crazy and also com like completely rewarding. 20 years later, I've still like, Damn, still got the same fire. Dude, I love it. I really believe this is why I was here. It's like to do this job, to play this role. Me too, to pitch you some grounders. Pitch me a grounder. This, is, this is why I'm here. Here we go. Look at Coop. All right. All right. All right, what do you say? We call it a day? Let's call it, dude. I think I think we did a good job. Oh, we did, man. Thank you. That was fun. Come on in, boys. Thanks for playing with us. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. You guys, how is how Jeff's skills on the baseball field? Did I improve? Right. Did I improve throughout the day? Lot, yeah. I improved a lot. All right, guys. Well, here, I don't have much to give you, but you guys can keep my bat. How about that? What? Yeah, awesome. Oh, wow. He loves that thing. He loves it. Hey, hands in. One more last time, guys. Ninjas. Ninjas! Who are we? Ninjas! Ninjas. Who are we? Ninjas. Ninjas! One, two, three! Ninjas! Ninjas. Ninjas. Alright!